Hey there, welcome to day 359 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here. Merry Christmas. Happens to be Christmas Day. Christmas is the 359th day of the year. And today we are beginning our final run through of our goal process. Our day by day, step by step, detailed deep dive into the seven step process that we identified at the beginning of the year for setting and getting our goals. You can use this for short-term goals, long-term goals, legacy goals, whatever makes sense for you. But it's a process that we can repeat over and over and over again and get what we want out of life. So step one of that process is, of course, identifying, clarifying our current situation versus our desired situation. I call it the C to D transformation or transition because we're going from where we are right now to where we actually want to be. And we've talked about dozens, literally dozens over the last four years of different types of ways to identify and clarify our story. We've asked questions. We've used the who, what, where, when, why, and how framework. We've used uh, SWOT analysis. We've used all kinds of different tools to help us say, okay, what is my current story? Get really clear and honest with yourself on that. I think that, I, me included, sometimes we, we don't honestly present to ourselves. We're not presenting it to anyone else. We're just thinking about it today but we have to be really open and honest about what things are going on in our life and our situation with respect to this goal that we're setting for ourselves that we don't really even want to look at or we're, we're having a hard time even seeing because we don't feel like we're where we should be yet, if that makes sense. Uh, I know I do that in certain areas and aspects of my life, you know, with my, my health for a long, long time. I just ran through my life and I didn't want to see that. I wasn't taking care of myself at all. Now, I'm sure at my subconscious level and the background of my mind, I knew I should be eating better. I should be exercising. I should be getting more sleep. I should be uh, drinking more water. I should have been doing all kinds of things, reducing my stress, uh, finding different ways to think and look at things, etc. But, you know, what we actually do in the moment and what we know we should do are, are not always the same thing. So today we're going to get really clear. You, hopefully you, you picked an area that you wanted to work on yesterday. I picked, uh, it's, it's, it hits almost all of the, the nine life framework areas for me personally. And it's working on uh, my, I, I say blind nonprofit, or but it might be blind and chronic pain nonprofit because I've wanted to work with people with chronic pain for a really long time. I just uh, felt like, hey, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist and just an engineer. So what do I have to offer people that have chronic pain, except for I am one of them. And so I've had to figure out and learn how to thrive and survive in spite of what's going on within me, right? That ties into our, our idiom today. I'm talking about an, a metamorphosis and a Christmas miracle, something that actually happened yesterday, which was hilarious. And uh, what we go through and what's happening with each and every one of us, which we should all remember, what we see on the outside and what we see in the instant of people's behavior and, and actions, it isn't the whole person. It's it's never the even a part of the person, right? It's just one little tiny part that pops out in the moment that we shouldn't make assumptions as to what's going on in other people's lives because we usually have no idea. We have no idea the stress and the strain and the, the responsibilities and the things that they have, yet we're still always responsible for our reactions and our behavior, right? Okay, I'm digressing. So what are we doing today? Our action item, as well as enjoying an awesome day, hopefully with friends and family, is to, number one, clarify and identify your current situation, your current story with respect to the goal that we're going through or that you're going through. Each of us are going through a different goal. I bet there's no one else in this entire group that is creating and going through the same exact goal as me. So it's always personal to us. And then we have to think about, okay, here's where I am right now. Here's where I want to be. And why do we do that? Because it creates a gap and some natural dissonance between where we are and we want to be. So our subconscious immediately starts working on moving us from where we are to the position of where we want to be. And the more we can hold and focus on and think about and visualize that desired state, the more energy that is, goes into our subconscious, coming up with solutions, helping us see opportunities, helping us to solve and create that identity and that area of our life exactly as we want it to be. It's one of the powers of visualization and writing things down and journaling and all the other things we've talked about this year. All right, any questions about this? It is Christmas, but you can still hit me up. 
I will probably answer. I'm not going to say I'd answer for sure, but I probably will. All right. Have an awesome day and a Merry Christmas. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. We're stuck too.